Hi guys. Okay. So last year I emailed Spellbinders when the Glimmer Machine came out and asked them if I could try it out. Um, I did let them know that Crafter's Companion had sent me the foil press and you guys didn't feel like you had to go buy a separate machine, meaning the Gemini, Gemini Junior. And um, Spellbinders never got back to me. So I just let it go and I just kept working with the foil press. I had the Couture Creations Go Press and Foil, um, but really the foil press had blown me away so much that I ended up giving away the Couture Creations Go Press and Foil. Um, so when this came out, it really did remind me of the Couture Creations, so I really didn't feel a reason to go out and buy it. Um, however, as I do more and more foiling videos, you guys love the foiling videos. I mean, just to give you an example, the average foiling video within 24 to 48 hours, you guys hit it a thousand views where my average stamping or card making video, um, you guys, I'm lucky if I get 300 views. So clearly foiling is in, everybody likes foiling. To make a long story short, a lot of you don't want to buy Gemini Junior, Gemini, and have been asking, how can I use the foil press with my Sizzix machine? And um, there is a way. Uh, however, it's not recommended because Crafter's Companion will void your warranty. So I had a friend help me out here. And Hobby Lobby has this on sale right now for $74.99. I asked her to go pick it up. We're going to try it out. If Spellbinder sends me a machine, I did email them again. Great. I will do a lot more videos on it. Um, and if not, well, we'll see how this one does. Um, otherwise, my friend's going to have a nice Glimmer hot foiling system, which has been gently used by me. <laughs> All right. So $74.99. You can see the regular price is $119.99. And they normally don't allow coupons. I don't know what the deal is. Um, most places online have it for around $100. I've seen a couple of them used for about $60. Um, and again, it just depends on what kind of die cutting machine you have. So if you have a Gemini, Gemini Junior preferably, then I'm going to say go with the foil press. It really is a nice machine. But if you don't want to invest in another die cutting machine, then... Maybe this is a better option. I don't know. We're going to try it out together and find out. Okay, so I'm unboxing the machine. Let me put this on the floor. And it does come with foils. I'm not going to use those. I'm going to use the foils that I have. Um, it looks like a silver and a light pale pink. I'm also not going to open... I'm not going to open any of these things because uh, put those back in the box. Well, I'm going to open the plates because I do need to use those. Don't worry. I gave her a trade that she's okay with all of this. So I'm going to keep it as nice and neat. Let's just say she's going to get a lot of foils in exchange for this demo. So who can say no to that? After all, I'm like the foiling expert here. <laughs> That's a joke. The foiling princess. Speaking of foiling, I'm very sad to announce that Laura from Creative Vision Stamps is going to be retiring from her stamping business. So head on over to Creative Vision Stamps. Um, she did sell the company to a new owner. Um, she hasn't announced who yet, and we don't know what they're going to be carrying. None of that has been announced yet. So head on over to Creative Vision Stamps and stock up on all your regular foil. That would be your mink foil and all those good things. Um, stamps because like I said, I don't know who she sold it to. Hopefully it's one of the companies that was on the uh, circuit with her that travel around. So when they, we go to stamp shows, we can see everything. Um, but uh, yeah, Creative Vision stamps. Okay, so we have our tweezers. These are almost identical to the Couture Creations tweezers. Um, I'm not gonna open that. Let me grab my tweezers. 
cheat and grab my tweezers and my uh, hot pad so I don't have to open everything up here. I'm not going to open her dies. I have my own dies to use. And it looks like the same cutting plate, the same kind of carbon fiber plate that came, that, hold on. So this is an extra one I bought for my Go Press and Foil, and it is pretty much the same material. The Go Press and Foil, I'm sorry, the Foil Press is um, narrower slightly, longer slightly, and um, it's thicker. So this says on it, Glimmer Hot Foil System Thin Shim, but it's the top plate. Okay, and then you get your silicone mat, and it looks like we get a cutting plate, which looks like a Sizzix cutting plate. Um, it's a little thicker than a Sizzix cutting plate. So spacer pad, they're calling it, and thin shim, they're calling it. And again, you want to use what comes with your machine, so we are going to have to keep those out. I'm going to try to move along here. Okay, this is the actual, this is the base, which I've plugged in. And again, there is a power tool right here, power button. So you want to turn that on. And then this is going to light up red, telling us we're getting power. It's pretty light, just like the Gemini foil press is. And then this is the actual platform. Now, this is kind of shorter. It is um, pretty heavy then the foil press and the same thing you're going to plug it in here to warm it up i'm going to plug that in now all the lights have turned green i'm assuming this is going to say platform ready it's going to turn green and then here's the timer but let's read the instructions and oh yeah you guys are going to want to know when i'm running this through we have that i'm going to have to open the instructions here because I do want to do it correctly. Oh, that's pretty cool. It has the a power cord that you can wrap around and store that underneath. That is pretty neat because the other one I just kind of throw in the cabinet. So that's pretty cool. It's it's slowly warming up. I can feel that. All right. So really I like the pictures and uh tells you how to hot foil and how to use regular foils. Tells you what material you're using down here, and so on. So we're gonna let that warm up a second. It says, "Do not heat for letter press." Well, of course not, because letter press is just uh, embossing it. Okay. So while this is warming up, I got out and dusted off my handy dandy Sizzix Big Kick machine. So. Let me just make sure that this platform comes out. Oh, that's a tight fit. Okay, it does fit in the original Big Kick Sizzix machine. I will bring that into view. It's hard to do because I can only move the camera up so high and have both machines, but I will attempt to bring both of them in the view. Um, while that is warming up, I did get... Um, Some new foils. I will link these for you guys. Uh, and this one is called Cobalt. This one is Fuchsia Flower, which is like a purpley pink color. Um, this one is called Bright Pink, which is almost like a bubblegum pink. And then the last one is called Tangerine. Now, what I'm not happy about, can you see that? This foil came with cellulite. It's got dimples all in it. So 
I mean, it's looking like Nancy's backside here. So I did cut a couple of pieces of each, but you can see the orange, the orange foil, foil does have some crinkles in it. I don't know if that's going to affect the foiling or not because it's not scratched. But to save us some time, I cut down two pieces of each. I also cut down my favorite foiling paper right now. Some more of this black glossy card from the paper cut. So I cut down eight pieces of that somewhere. Okay, so we have that. And I bought, when we were at the store, a new Spellbinders die called Gilded Vines. Now this is, was at Hobby Lobby, I think normally $15, $14.99. I used my Hobby Lobby coupon on this and they gave me 40% off. So what I liked about it was that it was full card front size and you can choose to either um, foil the center or cut the center. And I am gonna, going to be using, these aren't gonna fit. I was gonna use these happy birthday dies, but they're not gonna fit in there. And we'll have to maybe foil those separately and just put them on top, we'll see. So of course, they always use this super tack glue when they're attaching these things. I hate that. Like, it doesn't need to be permanent glue here, people. Permanent tape, now there's tape stuck on everything. I hate that. So then I transfer them over to my little magnetic things. Get this piece of tape off of here. Now this hasn't turned gr green yet. We're just waiting. I can feel it warming up. We're just waiting for it to turn green before we do anything here. And just a side note, I am using, those are all Glimmer Foils, Glimmer Machine. This is a Glimmer Spellbinders die. Hot stamp, I should say. It's not a die. It's not going to cut out. Now, this center portion does kind of come out, cut out. This is the die. But the rest of this is a hot stamp, which means it will press through the foil with the heat, but it won't cut. So I'm trying to be very fair here. Um... I do want to grab a happy birthday sentiment quick. Hold on. All right, so I have this Spellbinders. It says birthday wishes. Okay, that should fit in there. So we'll maybe play around with that too. I just wanted to have some options here. Okay, I can smell it heating up now. Uh, let me read the instructions before I mess this up. Turn your machine on. Wait for it to heat up. Platform ready. Lighter will turn green. That's what we're waiting for is this to turn green. This looks like it was used. I hope it wasn't used and returned. Okay, the outside's not warming up, but this is, whoo, that's getting warm. Okay. Do, 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 do. Place the foil... Oh, look, it just turned green when I put that on there. So we're going to put that face up. Place the foil shiny side down. Um, I'm going to use some of this blue foil, I guess, if I cut it right. So, of course, we want shiny side down. Of course, Nance didn't cut the foil big enough. What? foil is not wide enough. All right, we're going with that. Never mind the tape on there. Um, add your desired foiling material. So we're doing cardstock. Ooh, that's hot. Very hot. Uh, we want to press start on this. Place the glimmer plane on the heating surface. Press the timer button and wait until it turns solid green. Whoops, wasn't supposed to do all that. We're going to wait and see now. Then put your 
um, foil on, then put your paper on, remove the whole platform. It doesn't say what sandwich to put on it. Oh, you read the sandwich at the bottom. Okay, so since I'm just doing cardstock, I, I need the thin shim, which is this guy. Oh, he's going to get foil on there. Well, he's going to get foiled. I'll foil it on the back side. Okay, and then spacer pad. It says cutting plate from your die cutting machine. That's only if you're going to be doing something like leather. So you may need additional cutting shims, things like that from your cutting pad system, which is going, or your, your die cutting system, I'm sorry. Okay, so now that's green. Okay, I guess now we just take it out and roll it. All right, so I'm going to, how am I gonna do this so you guys can see? Turn this sideways like this and bring this in hopefully you guys can see the majority of what's going on here I hope okay so now I'm gonna take this out should be ready to go now this didn't come with any hot gloves but by holding it from the handle it doesn't feel hot Okay, now we run it through the big kick. Okay, so far so good. This is exactly like the Couture Creations Go Press and Foil. I'm gonna go once, I'm gonna go twice. I'm gonna plug that back in. I'm just gonna slide it over to the side. Now we reveal. like I first time ever foiling something. Come on, Nance, get with it. Oh, look, I didn't get any foil on the plate. Pretty. Okay, going to give it a second to cool down. Now, this foil was the beginning of the roll, so there is tape on here. I'm not going to hold that against the machine. The platform is plugged in, so we're still heating it up. And it worked just fine. So it is just like the GoPress and foil. But I think the advantage is, is that this has a timer on it. And the GoPress and foil didn't. My uh, foiling is very crooked there. Okay, so let's try that again. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take that little frame off of there because I didn't cut my foil big enough. And I'm going to use my little happy birthday dies now. One of these, I believe, is an Anna Griffin Happy Birthday die, and one of these is a uh, foil press die. So let me see if I can get this correct now. I'm going to put my die down. I'm going to put it like this. Okay. The platform is... Let me bring this in to view. You guys can see. Okay, so the die is down, face up. The platform is ready, which is green. I'm gonna hit the timer button, which is going to heat this up. While that's heating up, I want to grab my piece of foil and my cardstock and make sure that's ready. So it's not like the Gemini where it beeps at us and says, Hey, I'm ready. We just kind of have to keep an eye on it. And I'm going to use a piece of this pretty pink foil. I am going to cut this down because I think we can get two foilings out of this. There we go. There is a smell of burning glue. <laughs> um, again, it's probably because it's a new machine. I'm, I don't remember if my Gemini did it or not. But I'm assuming that's normal. This is very warm. Definitely don't want kids near this. Okay, the green light is lit. It's ready to go. We put our foil on. We put our cardstock on. Nance is going to attempt to center this this time. Then we put our thin shim or top plate. That's the heat safe plate. And then we put our spacer pad, which is going to allow it to fit through my machine. 
Now we pull the handle down and unplug the whole thing from the platform. Carry it over to the big kick or big shot or whatever you got, Cricut machine. And I'm gonna do one pass through. I can feel it pressing down. I'm gonna do pass back. I'm not plugging it back into the heat source yet. I'm gonna take these off. And we wanna give that foil some time to cool down. Okay, and we have a herb, happy birthday. Now, there's a little overfoiling there. that okay so there's a little overfoiling on that I'm going to try to move my die position in a different position there let's try that there's no timer or heat setting that we can change on here like we can on the Gemini but in terms of foiling it does look like it does no more normal foiling so gonna press the timer button again. Oh, we have to wait for the platform to be ready. So I just plugged it back in. It's not ready. I am not, I repeat, I am not going to take this and run this through the Gemini Junior. I do not wanna risk damaging the glimmer foil system. That's not what it's for. If you have the Gemini Junior, just get the foil press. This is an alternative to people who don't wanna go out and buy another um, die cutting machine. I will say this from a lot of the emails that you guys have sent me, the majority of you having problems with the Gemini foil press uh, and using a Gemini machine are with the full size Gemini. Um, I haven't had any issues with anybody from the Gemini Junior other than maybe putting the sandwich together wrong, but a lot of people have emailed me with the full size Gemini saying it's too tight and they're getting a lot of overfoiling and just having issues. Okay, so now this says the platform's ready. Now we're gonna hit our timer. So that's saying this is hot enough. Now what we wanna do is um, make sure that our, our hot foil stamp is hot enough. So if you have a Gemini Junior or Gemini I would recommend the foil press. This is for folks who don't have a who don't have that, and they they have a manual die cutting system. Like I said, the Go Press and Foil was the granddaddy that started all of this. The Spellbinders Glimmer is kind of a upgraded version of that, in my opinion. And the Gemini foil press is a little bit more advanced because it does have. Um, different timers where you can set the timing to whatever you want and different heat settings where you can hit set the heat settings on low, medium, and high. Um, but so far, this seems to be working just like the Go Press and Foil. So it does work. It's, it's a good alternative system. And if you can get it for $74.99, you're getting it cheaper than the Foil Press. Okay. So now that's ready to go. I'm using that same pink foil. All I did here was, again, just turn my die around. Let's see if that helps us. And this is an Anna Griffin uh, Couture Creations die. So it might be a little thicker. We'll see. In fact, I'm going to switch my top plate out. Let me see here. Oh, they're about the same. I don't know that it's going to matter. I'm going to use, this is my uh, Sizzix top plate before I run it through the machine. We'll see if that helps with the overfoiling. I don't think that gives us enough pressure. No, I don't think that's going to foil. There's not enough pressure. That went through just way too easily. I'm going to put the glimmer foil uh, plate back on and run it through. Hopefully I didn't shift everything around doing that. Yeah, that's just enough pressure. It's actually pretty perfect. It's not too hard, it's not too loose, it fits in there just right. Oh, I moved the die when I did that. Whoopsie! 
Well, let's see if it overfoiled or under. Well, it triple foiled and overfoiled. No good. All right, I'm going to switch to the other die. Now, I will say this. With all of these hot foiling systems, the dies and the foils are interchangeable. So what I mean by that is... You can use any hot foil and any hot foil die with these. Now, the only exception is with the foil press, you cannot use Toto hot foil stamps. The Toto hot foil stamps are way too thick. I don't even think I have any Toto hot foil because I got rid of all mine to try in this machine. But I'm going to imagine it's going to be fine in this machine because... We just changed the shim of the sandwich. So we should be okay, I think, here. This is a, a Gemini hot foil stamp. Uh, but you can use Gemini hot foil. You can use Glimmer uh, Spellbinders Glimmer hot foil. You can use Toto hot foil, which is in the UK. A lot of people have never heard of them. Um, you can use uh, w, uh, We Are Memory Capers, WRMK, Foil Quill Foil. Um, so you have quite a few hot foil companies out there you can use in any of these hot foiling machines. Okay, platform's ready. We're gonna turn the timer on. Let's go in with some of this uh, purple foil. Okay, when that's ready to go, we'll be able to shim it and run it through now if you get under foiling now this just happens to fit in my big kick machine my Sizzix big kit machine which is the old version of the big shot it happens to fit perfectly but if i had under foiling what i would do is just put a, a piece of paper in there to shim it and um, we'll see if we have over foiling these dies tend to be a little bit thinner the other thing i would be concerned about which i might try in another video is Gemini foils are very sensitive to heat. They work very quickly on a very low heat. So I would imagine that Gemini foils on this machine um, will probably overfoil very quickly, is my guess. But that's a video for another day. Today I just want to see how the basics work. And um, so far it's pretty much exactly like the GoPress and foil. Except my go press and foil I couldn't figure out the shims okay so now I don't have to do anything else this is ready to go Just gonna go through one time with that pass and see if that foiled it before I was doing it twice and maybe that was causing my over foiling so that time I just did one pass I didn't come back and do a second pass yep, still getting some over foiling you really got to have a steady hand with this machine. All right, I'm going to turn it this way. Now what I've seen, like Yana Smakula does a lot of videos for Spellbinders, is that she puts post-it tape on there to hold everything still um i you know like some oops take that off of there nance we're not ready for that uh we gotta wait for that to turn green and that turn green i hope i didn't mess it up so we're gonna wait so yeah any of your hot foiling stamping systems should work any of your hot foils should work again as long as it's glimmer Toto, We Are Memory Keepers, or Gemini. And like I said, I will do a video another day with the Gemini hot foil and see how it reacts to the system. And there's two types of Gemini hot foils. There's the paper craft foil and there is the, um, the uh, multi-surface foil. And the multi-surface foil works really good with super hot heat, but the paper craft foil is really sensitive. You, you really want to use that on a low heat. 
And also what type of paper you use. I like smooth paper that just happens to uh, work better for me with foiling. And it makes sense because if you're using a rough surface, it's hard for the foil to grab onto. So smoother surfaces work better when you're doing foiling systems. And for those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. I do a lot of videos with foiling, hot foiling, mink foiling, as well as traditional rubber stamping, card making, scrapbooking, things like that. At the end of the video, if you click the lower right corner when the bubble pops up, you can click the bell and click all videos and you'll get a notification. You'll be subscribed to my channel. And if you like this video, I always appreciate your thumbs up. Okay, so green lights on. I'm gonna try to line this up without looking at it. And then we want our spacer plate no thin shim they're calling it i want to call it the right name and spacer plate now we disconnect everything and we run it through our big kick and again i'm only going to run it through one time remove our sandwich That came out a little better. I got to get it so that it's not overfoiling. Hmm. Let me go back to the Spellbinders dies. Maybe it's my dies. Let's try. Where are those thin little... This one says birthday wishes. Oh, plug that in, waiting for the platform to turn green. And I think I just need to learn how to practice using it. I do have some thinner strips of paper here. We can use these too. Yeah, they made this die. See, they should have made the die so that the whole piece of foil can cover it, but they didn't. They made the die just slightly bigger so you actually have to cut another piece of foil or foil this way which in my opinion is a waste of foil okay so now we're just waiting it's green we're going to turn the timer on now we're going to put our strip of foil on we're going to put our strip of cardstock on I'm going to do our shim, and I'm going to do our top plate. Oh, now it's not green anymore. It was green, wasn't it? Oops. I jumped the gun. And if you have any questions, you can post your questions or comments down below. You can also email me at nancystamps, the number 15, at gmail.com. So nancystamps15 at gmail.com. And I always answer emails and try to get back to you, hopefully with the correct answers. All right. I think I left that on there way too long. We'll see here. I don't like how the plates kind of move around. I think if this were mine, I would probably tape them down somehow. That is an advantage to the go press and foil is it is on hinges and the foil press is not on hinges, but it has like a little um, a stopper system, like a little uh, a little dam that the plates push up against a little edge. Silver foiling is going to drive me nuts. It's going to drive me nuts. And I don't think it's my plates. I guess what I could do is shim it with paper instead of using the plates. Let's 
try that. I'm determined to make this work. So I just took a piece of heavy cardstock. I folded it in half. I'm going to use my Sizzix top plate because it was a little thinner. I'm going to try that with the paper shim and the glimmer shim like this. So I have my Sizzix cutting plate, paper shim folded in half. So it's two pieces of paper there. Um, the hot foil thin shim. Instead of using the Glimmer Hot Foil Spacer Pad. I think maybe it's too thick. And again, I'm using their uh, Spellbinders dies here. But it looks like... It's, it's getting too hot and it's overfoiling. That's the problem. Oh, well that's why that one didn't work. I had two pieces of paper in there. That was not a fair comparison. Sorry about that. But this one only had one. Okay, now that's green and that's ready to go. So, pressing the timer button. Wait until it turns green before we put our foil on. Hope you guys can see that. And like I said, you can feel the heat coming off of this. I don't feel that much heat off of my Gemini foil press. Oh, I should have had a stopwatch to time that so we could actually see how long it was taking. I do like the Gemini foil press because it beeps at you and tells you when it's ready. We're getting close. Okay, timer is green. Foil, shiny side down. Cardstock piece down. Now I'm going to do my sandwich here. Plug that. It's so tight. Okay. Now run it through. I don't know that that was enough shims. That was very loose. Might not have been thick enough. We'll find out. Yeah, I don't think that did anything. Well, it did foil. Okay. Let it cool a second. And it worked a little better, still got overfoiling. All right, so clearly I need to play with this machine a little bit. I just wanted to show you guys the basic concept of it. It is an option if you're going to be using a manual die cutting system instead of having to buy a Gemini or Gemini Junior. I will play around with this some more and do some more videos for you. Again, just click the bubble down here to subscribe. And you can also check out my hot foiling playlist. Thanks for watching, guys, and keep on foiling. Bye-bye.